there is one body, verse 4, and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father and all who is over all and through all and in all. And, uh, I mean, that's it. I mean, there's one body. We're either part of the body of Christ or we're not. And if someone's part of the body of Christ and they're our brothers, then we have a bond with them, then we should love them. Um, some of them it's going to be harder than others. I mean, it just is. I know. I worked at a Christian bookstore. I met all kinds of ones. Um, some will be harder than others. But it's one body. It's one faith in Jesus Christ. You confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart God raised him from the dead. It's one spirit. It's even one baptism. You know, people will debate on baptism and the form of baptism. Some sprinkle, some pour, some dunk, you know, all these different things. Well, it's still one baptism. The idea is it's a public declaration that my life is dead. So immersion is the best way. <laughs> my, my life is dead and I'm coming up and I'm raising into a new life. One baptism. Even those that sprinkled and poured and stuff, they're still making that same statement. They're saying their life is dead. And so rather than fighting over the mode or, or the formula, oh, you got to say it in Jesus' name, or you got to say Father, Son, Holy Spirit, or you got whatever, you know, people getting all kinds of different things when it comes, even communion. There's really one communion. It's we're communing with the body of Christ. And we're either, we're either part of that body or we're not. Um, and so, you know, that, that unity that we need to have in the spirit, unity that we need to have with others, despite all these do doctrinal things and stuff, there's a lot of things we could talk about, debate, all these things, but we can do it in love. We can do it in, a, in peace. And we can do it knowing that there is only one God and Father who is over all of us. He's through all of us and he's in all of us. We're part of the body. The Father's there. And so we can find a way to unite with others. We can find a way to love others, even those that are really hard to love. And I, I've got some of those in my life, too. <laughs> Guarantee it. As a matter of fact, God will actually kind of attract me to those kind of people that are harder to do. Uh, because I figure there's less people that are willing to do it, so I probably should. And it stretches me. And so I like to kind of get stretched a little bit. And so it's like, okay, go ahead and love them. Go ahead and talk to them. Go ahead and, you know. I'm thinking of a couple individuals in specific. But it's none of you as far as you know. It's not.